Now, this week's parasha, let's say for it says famous passage, this week's parasha, for your half to a person should love his friend like he loves himself, Ani Hashem. And we all know the famous Rashi and this passage, and Rashi says, for your half to a kamoicha, Omer Akiva, Ze Klau Godel Batoide. This is a famous fundamental rule in the Torah. Well, what does Rashi want to teach us with this word? Ze Klau Godel, famous Klau, fundamental in the Torah. So I want to tell you, Pshan, and I saw from the Hassam Soifer, famous Hassam Soifer, the Moshe Soifer, lived in the 1700s, 1800s. And he said a beautiful shot. Now we all know what Gemara in Baba Metzia, Tav Samech Beis Omenal. The Gemara says, two people were walking in a desert, and one of them owns a cup of water, drinks the water, he can save himself, get out of the desert. He shares it with somebody else, they're both going to die. Nothing doing. No one's going to get out. The Gemara says, according to one man, whose name is Ben Pitura, better they both die. I cannot see that my friend, he's going to die and I should live. Rebbe Akiva said, no. When it comes to Gashmias, when it comes to living yourself, you come first. Suposik, imoch, you come first. You take that water, you own it, you drink it, you get out of the desert, and you live. That's the halacha. Who authored that? Rabbi Akiva. The same Rabbi Akiva said on this posik. That's only when it comes to giving water to somebody else. You come first in Gashmias. But when it comes to learning toide, Ruchnias, if someone walks up and says, please learn with me, teach me some toide, and you want to spend the time learning yourself, the halach is v'yahavta l'reyacha kamoicha. You must share your time with someone else. And we don't say, you come first. You come first, that's the Gemara Bam when it comes to Gashmias, it comes to the water. But zeh klal godl ba toire. When it comes to learning toire, a person has to share from his time and not say, I come first. Now that's a tremendous lesson here. A person has to know, Torah goes together with Midos. Rabbi Akiva had 24,000 students that passed away. In these days, between Pesach and Shavuos, they didn't have the proper respect, Zel or Zel. And Rabbi Akiva taught us, Zel klal godl ba Torah. When it comes to Ruchnius, spiritual, you have to share what you have. Remember in Pirkei Ovis it says, the fellow learned a lot of Torah. Don't keep it for yourself. Don't pride yourself. That's why you were created. Share it with someone else. These 24,000 students, never. They didn't have that proper respect. The proper derecherets. They were taken away from the world. But Rabbi Kiva taught us, You don't come first. You share your toire with someone else. Now, Baruch Hashem, here in the yeshiva, there is yeshiva, all the rabbeim, we try. And Or Chaim is known for all the years that the boys learn Torah with midos, with derech eretz. We share the Torah with someone else. There's a tremendous achtus among the boys, comrades, that get together, and we are the achtus, and that's the way Torah should be learned. Zek lal kotl ba Torah goes together with the Yohavta, Lareacha, Kamoicha, we should all be Zoicha. To keep this in mind, we should all have a wonderful shot.